You may have seen this project before, but today we're launching it with some commentary from co-founder of Ligari, Tim Crumlin. Watch how we took this ordinary floor and turned it into an underwater wonderland. The kids loved it. Stay tuned to see how it turned out. Before we get started on today's video, we wanted to let you know that we're on our way to 800,000 subscribers and we've noticed that a huge percentage of you guys that watch our videos every week are not subscribed to our channel. It only takes seconds out of your day to press that subscribe button, especially if you enjoy this content. We launch videos every week so you can get notified every time there's a new one. Thanks for all your support. We hope you enjoy the video. Okay, we have the blue primer down. This is a special primer for this project. And now we're doing our base coat. This is a sky blue base coat. This is gonna be an underwater theme. So once we've squeegee the, the base coat around about 90% of the way, then we'll actually hop on rollers, we'll get a roller going, and we'll just start cross rolling. So we do about 90% of the work with the squeegee because you can see you can move a lot of material quickly. We're just focusing on the perimeter. Then again, once we've done that, we're gonna grab our roller and we're gonna start cross rolling everything. Now this kind of allows us to do multiple kits at once. We just work from one side of the building to the other. This is in a commercial setting. This is in a church for a, a children's wing where they wanted an underwater theme. Now since we're doing such a large area, we'll actually be doing multiple kits all at, all at once. So we'll do a couple base coats at once and then do highlights. So you want somebody who's dedicated on the squeegee, dedicated on the roller, dedicated at the mixing station, and typically one more person, so that's four so far, just kind of helping, grabbing buckets, walking a bucket over from you know, the, the mixing station to the floor makes it pretty easy. But same thing, it, for every section, you're doing the perimeter and then just beginning to fill in the inside.
Notice I'm overlapping. It looks like I'm pushing. I'm not pushing down with the roller. I'm trying to let it just glide over the surface. And I'm even kind of pulling. If I notice I'm pushing a lot of resin to the edge, I'll actually lift up on it and then pull that resin to the middle. Notice how I'm picking it up right before I get to the edge and then I pull it back to the middle. That's what you wanna do. And now I'm cross rolling going the other way. I'm going the length lengthwise. So if we have any, any real high spots or low spots in the resin, real thick or thin spots, this levels it out awesome. Now obviously you want to be very sure-footed and careful when you're walking on spikes um, with the resin. So now Tyler's just dumping out piles. So we, we, we did a sky blue base coat. Now this is a deep blue highlights and we're doing puddles. So as he's just going to dump puddles and, and, and just drips everywhere, larger ones as you can see, I'm going to go with a 9 inch roller, not an 18 inch roller because it's more manageable. And I'm just going to begin to swirl starting at that end of the floor all the way out where the mixing station is. And I'm just going to go back and forth. Right here, like on the left, if I notice there's a lot of light blue and there's no dark blue, I'll just dip into a pile and I'll just I'll just set it in the light blue just so I can get color there. So you can really control it. But notice how even though I look like I'm real sporadic and a little bit crazy right now, I'm working my, my way backwards all the way across that floor to the mixing station. What I'm really looking for is any really hard lines. I want to try to get rid of any hard lines of drips. I don't want there to be any hard lines. And now what Tyler has is he actually has some liquid diamonds inside a bottle with 91% with isopropyl alcohol. And he's spraying that liquid diamonds and that alcohol out because it's causing a dispersing effect and then adding even more sparkle. Okay, so notice this dispersing effect. Notice when that when that alcohol hits it, how it just kind of causes an effect, a dispersing effect between the two metallic colors. And then on top of that, there's added sparkle with that liquid diamonds in it. And that'll all level out and it'll just create this cool ocean-like look. This is what the floor looks like. Now this has our gloss urethane with grit additive in it um, because it's a very high traffic area. So anytime you have like a commercial setting, high traffic area, a lot of people walking on it, we recommend the grit additive with our urethane top coat. Mm -hmm. 